What's the matter, old man? You should know how to fix it. You have worked for years at that. If you think it's so simple, why don't you do it, hmm? This goes... here. And this... Here. Now, let's see. This goes... here. <laughs> hey, Grandfather, you little feet. Get out of here. <laughs> I told you. I told you to get out of here. You little. And you hurry up. Yeah, hurry up. You come and destroy it. Then afterwards, you expect me to fix everything and make it like new. I'm going to tell you something. We don't have any time left. If we don't get out of this rotten country soon, everyone will die of hunger. Uh, you're all so strong, why don't you just leave? Are you afraid of the desert? There are a hundred miles of salt without a drop of water. And after that, who knows what we'll find? Confederate soldiers or those northern pigs. Did you hear what I said? We can't wait forever. Just blame yourself. You fix that machine or else. Hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> That's it. I fixed it. I fixed it. You can go and tell your boss. My dears! My dears! Where is Martinez? What is wrong? The telegraph. The telegraph is working. I made the old man repair it. I knew he'd do it. Now we can send a message. We're safe. All right, come with me. Months. 
since the end. The war's finished. The Union won. The war is not finished. <laughs> Destroy the... Damn it. Someone who hates us. Someone who doesn't want the South to win. But whoever did it will pay for it. You 
shot the old man in the telegraph office and destroyed the telegraph. I don't think he could have killed him, Major. Are you crazy? Who else would have done it? A gun tells a story. And this one says it comes from a Confederate soldier. It's not even loaded. And was it not one of your soldiers that was guarding him? He's dead. With a knife in his back. How are we going to get to that money? Now that he's dead. Without gold, you'll find the boys are a little hard to handle. Hmm. Sooner or later, reinforcements will arrive anyway. You'll get everything that's coming to you. It better be quick, Major, for your own sake. Hmm. I'll keep my end of the bargain, Martinez. to you the first death to knock you down, eh? You rushing off to see your sister? <laughs> Tell her I want to talk to her about certain little things, eh? Yeah? <laughs> Sergeant Scott. You come with me. You others get back to your posts and wait. And be quick about it. him right here. I'm sure I... Damn it. Look around. We've got to find him. You two over there. You over here. You can't have gotten far.
is my father. Eat, friend. You must be hungry. My son Pedrito and I brought you here. I guess you want to wash yourself. La 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 la
This is a platoon that captured our column. If it is, where's our gold? Hey, it's a ranger. He's only wounded. Take him with us. You have to stay out of sight. They're looking for you. Stay out of sight. Must stay hidden. Why should I? Why am I here? I'm locked up in a cage again. Why are they looking for me? But how long have I been here? How long has it been, huh? Two or three days? How many? A week? How much? Two weeks? More than that. For a long time. What's a long time? Is it four weeks? Five? Six? Speak to me, girl. What are you waiting for? I don't know. Six weeks? Seven? Six. finished six weeks ago. Finished, you say? The South had given up when I arrived here with the Union forces. We were supposed to drive out the remaining Southern resistance. Now the war's been finished for over six weeks.
Nice boy. It must be great to have a big boy like this, but for the parents. It's also a grave responsibility. You've got to think about your son above all. You've got to protect him, and you must see to it. He doesn't get involved. And you are foolish mistakes. And a boy like this must be able to grow up in peace and happiness. That all depends on whose side you're on. Someone here is hiding a prisoner who escaped us. You people know where he is hiding. You know where he is, all right. If you protect an enemy, you yourself are an enemy. Is he worth losing your lives for? Again? Wake up! Drop your guns. You heard me. You're lucky. I don't have to kill you fellas. The war is finished, but you men never did hear about it. You'll walk to town with me. You're prisoners until I'm able to discuss it with your officer. Do as I say, and nothing will happen to you. When we get out of this hell hole, you'll be given a pardon under the amnesty offered by the United States government. Nothing else I could do. I'm sorry. You did what a man would, defending an old man's house. 
Shango. That was wonderful. It's that filthy ranger who did this. He's the only one who could have. You think so? You can see with your own eyes what happened here. Is it possible for one man to win out in a fight against six others? I tell you, I don't like the looks of this, Major. It's always my men who are massacred. I know. I know why you wouldn't kill him. You want all the gold for yourself. Don't talk nonsense, Martinez. You know, I put six bullets in that ranger. How about all those peasants who hide his corpse from us? It's always... The peasants who like to make war. If you are trying to involve these people again, forget it. My soldiers and I have waited too long for the gold of your government. That was not part of the bargain. My friend, you are up to your neck in trouble. If the Yankees catch you, they will hang you. Understand? But if they don't... No tricks. Because we're watching you. Both me and my men. Just for the record, I'm not scared. The war is all over now. Yeah. Maybe it's finished for the North and for the South. But it's not finished in this godforsaken corner of the country. It's only because the Confederates and the rebels in this territory don't know it. Well, I'm going to tell them. These arms have to stay here. They're not for the peons in the village. They would fight and be killed. It's better if they stay out of it. I don't understand war, but I understand my people. And by now, the rebels, too. If you go to them and tell them that the war is over, they won't believe you. They will kill you. I'll take the risk. I must talk with their officer in charge. I can't figure any other way I can stop them. Don't forget, you mustn't give out the weapons. Hear me? Why shouldn't we also take risks? It's our fight, too. I think the men of the village would rather be killed than go on being treated like dogs. We must try it without fighting. We must avoid further death and destruction if we can, Fernandez. All right, then, Shango. If you're really sure, you can go have your little talk with the Major. But it won't be easy. I'll do it this evening. I'll break into their headquarters tonight when he's there alone, and I'll talk to him. You're going to have to find out where they post their guards. You two, come along. What is it now? Hope nobody comes in here without knocking Major Draster, because if someone does, you might be hurt or even 
killed. Six of your soldiers died today because of their stupidity. Now, I'm sure you wouldn't want to follow their example. I don't follow examples. I follow orders, but not from you. Now, what is it you want? The war's over now, and you know it, Major Draster. I kept telling you over and over when you had me locked in that cage. But now things are different. As you see, you're the prisoner. What about the matter of the Union gold shipment, Chango? By the way, where did you put it? Huh. It can be found easy. Sure it can. <laughs> Are you saying it's a lie, Major? With a gun pointed at me? If I'd only had the good sense to have you shot and put away before you escaped from that cage. Yeah, only you didn't, Major Draster. And I don't think you'll have a chance to do it now. All right. That makes me your prisoner, I guess. <laughs> That's not bad, really. An entire company of what's left of it. An entire company of Confederate soldiers and their collaborators. A prisoner's a one Texas Ranger. <laughs> not bad at all. Killing and taking prisoners. That's all over now. You'll have to leave this area. In that case, why are you gunning me? Give me your word of honor. And I'll put it down. You have my word, Ranger. Arrest him. Put him in the cage. Tomorrow you'll die. All right, Major Draster, you can kill me, yes. But it won't do much good. Now move. Get out there. All right, lock him up. is crazy. The war's been over for six weeks. Confederates defeated. Come on, give me a hand. Damn fool. Now we have to drag him. Ranger has escaped. We've got to find him. Get busy and search the area. Move! What are you waiting for? You then cover that area. The rest come with me. 
Bates. all around the area. They want me. Give me this sombrero. And the poncho. Better go on working. Go on. You heard him. They're coming. Go tell Fernandez. It's important you're here. All right. Search the place, boys. Yes, you are right, Fernandez. They won't admit that the war is over. Still about the weapons. There's been no change in plans. I don't want any of you taking risks. I've got to go to the nearest Union Army fort. That Army fort is nearly 200 miles from here. 
and it's desert nearly all the way. The best horse in the country couldn't take you there. And then you... Uh, you're much too important to us. You find me a good horse. I've got to reach that fort. You must stay right here with us. We'll try. We'll try with one of my men. All right. Get up. Come on. Get your hoops out, brother. Come on. Get up. Come along. Come on, then. Get up. Get up. <laughs> He always coming drunk. Come on, get along there. Get in, hurry up, come on. This time he even took the wrong road to his own place. Let's have some fun with him. Come on, uh, get in, hurry up, come on. Hey, Chico, don't you know you can't come through here? Now get out, quick. <laughs> Look at him run. <laughs> <laughs> Fernandez. Let's hope he reaches the fort. Search the whole place. He's got a. turning back. Give a gun to everybody. I can't do it alone. You tell them that. May the good Lord be with us. We're ready. But, uh, will we make it? You've got to, Fernandez. Otherwise, it's a finish for all of us. Me. You and your friends. We do it tomorrow night. Right. My Captain Martinez is very lonely. Very sad.
Cowards. Cowards. What's wrong, Consuelo? Oh, Father. They've taken her away once again. That dirty pig, Martinez. Cowards. <laughs> Filthy dogs. <laughs> Filthy cowards. <laughs> cowards. <laughs> Fernandez, cover up. idea of putting the men in the trees did not work. And seven more of my men were massacred. We're finished with all that. This is my method. Now watch how well it works. Little fire isn't going to force those peasants to hand over that ranger. You Confederates never had much understanding for the ways of us Mexicans. I would say not much faith. You go ahead with your methods, Martinez. I'll just keep on with mine.
You. He was talking to you. This is important. You're a strong girl. Run and find the men. Instead of protecting their women, they run away like rabbits. You tell them, I want that ranger. <laughs> now run if you want these women to stay alive. I don't know where they are. They will not burn if you bring the ranger back. Make it fast if you want to save them. And all of you, do not worry. They will find you if you do not find them first. Go. Bring him back. Hurry. I want these women in the corral. Move, you. Over there. Come on, come on. to take it to Fernandez and the ranger. We have no other choice, Shango. We must turn you over to the bandits. We were aware of this, Fernandez. They're playing with all of your lives. Yes, this is too much. Do you expect that we can stand by? You expect us men to do nothing to let our women die like this? In such a horrible way? You'll come with us. Open your eyes. That way you can watch them burning. It'll be a show you won't soon forget. Put the fire on!
blood will soon be boiling. Fire for the fire! Gave you the ranger, you wouldn't kill our women. Now you set them loose, like you said. We must first take a look at his ugly face, senor. Over here. Out here! Come out! Where are you? Show your face! Come out and fight me, Shango! Where are you at? I'm right here, Martinez. Behind you. Turn around. I've seen it myself. 
Down there. Toward the desert. seen things. Let's go to the village. It's some kind of a trick. Stop them, Fernandez. No, it's too late. You've got to understand it. It's a trick. Stop it. Where are you going? You're crazy. Stop them before it's too late, Fernandez. It's hopeless. You've got to be crazy. They're free now. I'll let you fool. we celebrate.
As of now, this town is under the command of the Confederate Army. Whoever disobeys his laws will be sentenced to death. Is that clear? Come here, Ranger. I think you'll be the first. Just to show them I meant what I said. You stay right here. You're mad. Let me go. No, He'll kill you all. Let me go through. Let me go. He's a madman. He'll massacre you. Bring me that man. He's my prisoner. Now, all of you heard me say that he's my prisoner. Ten seconds, my soldiers will open fire. Let me go. If you don't all want to get killed, let me go. No. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Fire! Fire! Henderson. Ha, 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 ha,
Fernandez, tell your friends it's all over and they can bury the dead. And while they're at it, they can bury the guns, too.